Now, you might be saying to yourself, this is rather familiar material. Well, we heard much of this gospel, the end, just this Sunday. And the focus, I'm sure, was on sheep, being sheep, Jesus as the good shepherd, the idea that Jesus and God hold us in their hand, a message of security and safety. Today, though, we hear a little bit more of the gospel. Actually, what precedes the snippet that we heard on Sunday. And so we hear very clearly that it was the Feast of the Dedication. That's Hanukkah, that festival of lights. And Jesus is there in the temple on this very important time of celebration for the Jewish people. Hanukkah, a, a feast that happens because of the revolt of the Maccabees against Antiochus IV, who erected an image of Zeus in the temple. So in 164 BC, there was a rebellion, a revolution. And we know that the Maccabees were successful in their revolt. And so is it any wonder that the people are thinking, if Jesus is really the Messiah, maybe there'll be another revolt. And the oppressor now, not Antiochus IV, but Rome will be toppled. And that's what the Messiah will do for us. So, of course, they want to know plainly. Perhaps they're also just curious. Is this really the hoped for one? But Jesus doesn't answer their question directly. Their inquiry is addressed by his being at work and that the work he does witnesses to who he is. He speaks about being sheep and the hand of God and how his hand and God's hand are one. And so we wonder why he didn't just directly tell them. Well, in some respects he couldn't because they would misunderstand him. In fact, many times we misunderstand creeds and dogmas and get involved in all sorts of issues. But the early church, you know, they were not converted by ways of creeds and dogmas, not that they're not important. However, what was more important, what was more central for this growth of the people, in fact, we heard in the first reading, in Antioch, they were first called Christians. What's important is an experience of Jesus, the risen Jesus. hearing the shepherd's voice, having the experience of being held in his hand, a hand that's one with God. That's what's significant. You know, Tony DeMello, the uh, late Jesuit spiritual director, used to tell a story of how an explorer came back to his town and village and told them about all he had seen and done. And the people were so interested in that. And so they wanted to hear more and more about this. And in fact, 
He drew a map of all the places and what was there and what he had seen in his exploration. And the people put up the map and learned the map really well. But they were missing something. Namely, they were armchair explorers. They didn't go and really see the land for themselves. And we're not to be that way with our relationship with Jesus Christ. We're not to be armchair explorers, but people of prayer, filled with faith, entering in and through our prayer to a relationship with Jesus Christ, our risen Lord.